To run the valves and the pump, you will need to make a little adapter harness that goes in between here. So, you'll make one of these guys. So, in this top left corner, we got the front left solenoid. Bottom left corner is the front right solenoid. This green wire is the rear solenoid. This left wire is the valve relay. This top right one is um, the pump motor relay. And then these bottom two, they will need 12 volts. Um, it's for like the control side of the relay. So, and that goes over here. This red wire is 12 volt source. Um, this blue wire is ground, but you really don't need it. You could just... Here's the wiring diagram. So the order that we're going to bleed it is the rear solenoid, then the front left solenoid, then the front right solenoid. So I've got this black wire. It's connecting the rear solenoid and the uh, solenoid relay. So anytime I ground this big black wire over there in the driver's seat, it'll actuate the solenoid valve. And I have this red wire to run the motor. This black wire is going to the rear solenoid. So what you wanna do is put down firm brake pressure and just turn on and off the solenoid and you should feel the brake sinking. And once it's all the way down, go ahead and actuate the pump. And you'll feel the pedal uh, pump back up. So let's go back to the solenoid. It will slowly go down as you actuate it over and over. And then run the pump. I'm doing the last wheel, the front and right. So brake pressure and then actuate the solenoid. So do it over and over until your foot goes all the way down and then you run the pump and it'll bring your foot back up and then just do it again run the solenoid it'll make the pedal go lower and then run the pump that's how you bleed it and then you just go around to the wheels and just do a normal bleed